like, comment, subscribe. Hi folks, Dave with DBS Tech Talk. And today I just want to give you a quick tour of what is on my current, currently on my desk. And this is not going to be anything technical. It's just going to be an overview of what gear currently I am using. Some of this gear is being loaned and some is my own. I'll try to point out the ones that are currently on loan. If I don't say it's on loan, it means I own it. So a lot of people ask, what PC do I use? And I use a little itty bitty one, and that is the MSI uh, Cube. Bunch of specs I have no clue about, but I know it works well, it runs Windows 10, and it uh, does what I need. Runs USB-C out to, oh, I'm sorry, USB out to the Gustard U12, and then the Gustard U12 USB interface converts and outputs to all my various DACs. Also from the MSI, we do have USB out, as you can see from the front there, and that is going down here to the little SMSL M100, and then that plays to the Archel 1 and also the JDS Labs Atom. So I have to go into Windows and convert the, uh, or change the setting to pick that output. But everything else comes through the Gustard U12. We'll start up here on top. We have on the bottom, we have the Monoprice Monolith THX AAA 788. And that is being fed AES from the Gustard U12. So like it's AES. And then um, that is outputting via RCA into the cost energizer for the 95X that is on loan from Farsal. On top, we have a Zendac also on loan from Farsal. And eventually that will be uh, the DAC going into the 95X as part of the test for the review. But I just haven't been able to hook it up at the moment due to various reasons. The Grace Design SDAC balanced is there. That is being fed coaxial from the Gustard U12. And then that is outputting balanced. And that goes into a unique little splitter box by Little Bear. And I can have three balanced inputs going into it at one time. And then I can um, swap between the different DACs into an amplifier. So the first balanced DAC that is going into the Lil Bear is the Grace Design SDAC Balanced. Next to that is the APPJ PA1502A, and that has electroharmonic tubes inside. And uh, it's a nice little tube amplifier, I really enjoy it. It's being fed RCA from the Gishelli. There on the bottom is the Enoch 2 Pro DAC, it is being fed coaxial. Also from the U U12, and then it is feeding RCA to the Gishelli Archel 2 Pro, and also that is being split out and going into RCA for the Cavelli Liquid Carbon X. Let's see if we can get that in focus a little bit better here. So on the bottom is the LCX. Up top would be the CTH. And both of those are being fed via RCA to from the Gishelli. It also has a, the LCX has balance going into it coming out of the Little Bear. Then we have down below, we have the THX AAA 789. And the 789 is being fed balanced from the Little Bear also. Whoops, sorry, for the finger, do apologize. And there is the THX AAA 789. Down below also we have a SMSL SU8 and that is running balanced and that goes into the one bear and then the, the little bear goes into whichever balanced amplifier that I choose and currently we have those two uh, being fed it. So that is my current desktop setup. If you would like some current pictures or closer up pictures or any that have questions, I'll post it down below or hit me up on Discord and I'll be glad to answer. Let's go up top here, headphone wise. We have on the right hand side the ZMF Classic. Right there where it says T50, that is the Mayflower mod. 
There are the Mr. Speakers Ether C's. There is the Open Alpha or the Alpha Blue. And there are the Vibrolab Curly Maples. Moving on up over here, we have the Hyphen HE560. There are the Cost 95Xs that are on loan from Farcel. Can't get that hair off, do apologize. Then we have the Hyphen Ananda that is on loan from Mr. Olinod. There are the Sennheiser HD600s, the Marantz Pro MPH2s. Down below here we have the Echo Box Explorer, some boxes, Eric Molds. There are a bunch of random boxes of IEMs that are being reviewed or being stored. Up top here we have the AKG K275s. We have the Monoprice Retros that I modified. And we have the Superlux HD681 Evo. On the desk there are the Hi-Fi-Man RE600Ss that are going to be returned to hi fi -Man after the review is done. There's my Aki keyboard and mouse. Some random IEMs down below. Also, I keep a bunch of IEMs in a box. In case you're all wondering, I'm not going to get each one of them out. But uh, there's a box just full of IEMs. Also on loan right now inside there is, let's see, we have some Zebrawood T50s and the Odyssey LCD 2Cs. Both of those are on loan from Farcel. All right, if you want to know all the details about each and every one of the IEMs that I own, you can ask down below or hit me up on Discord. Uh, it would just take too long to pop all of those out and uh, show each one of them. So if you have any questions there, I can uh, list them off for you. In fact, I'll put that down in the description. I want to thank you for uh, joining me on this quick tour of the DBS Tech Talk uh, desk and uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Speaking of next videos, somewhere on the screen, it's going to be a subscription link and a notification bell. If you haven't already, please check those off. And uh, check the links down below for playlists and for links to PayPal, Patreon, Discord, and all kinds of other good stuff. Thanks. Have a great day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.